What is going on guys? Welcome back to The Journeyman in FM22. Leave a thumbs up if you've been enjoying it and you will see a bit of a difference here. Uh, I did touch on how the league splits in half. It's now known or the side yeah we're in the championship group which is that that's a good feeling <laughs> that's a good feeling for us and that is top four and very intriguing club Brugger, 38 points i i might i might need to look deep i'm not i'm not going to look into this video but definitely yeah you, you oh, i mean you just go to the league table there there there's more detail I'm sure maybe, yeah, one of you guys in the comments uh, will let everyone know the way it works. But yeah, we're going to treat that for what it is uh, when it comes around. But we were going to plan to play uh, this. <laughs> when Before I played that last game, which we lost, we just played these two games off camera here. Last episode was uh, the la was 31st of March. It's when the youth intake came in. So uh, yeah, uh, Club Brugger, uh, we, and it's a bit weird because we have the next game against them. Uh, but... Just going back to that right now. Again, we don't know the total rules and regulations, but you go to league table. I, I, if I was a club Brugger, I'd be a bit more disappointed that uh, we don't have more a grape. Uh, a break. <laughs> grape. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah, that last game, we were probably due for a loss, and you might take a look over the right side. I say there was two sending offs, but ours was in the 56th minute. We didn't have much time where it was equal again. Uh, so it was with that many results in a row, like many wins in a row, I felt like, like I mean, you're not surprised that uh, we dropped points away from home. And something I put, where's the draws been? All in this period. The last draw was the first game of November. So... That happens occasionally. I don't know how or why, but it does. Maybe it could be down to your playing style. You either win a game or you lose it. That's been the results. But yeah, we were going to play this one as the Crokey Cup final. And now it's more of a focus that is the money. 81.5K. That's pretty... Like, we need money. We'll get into that maybe after we play the game. Uh, but yeah, winner qualifies for Europa League. Uh, we have a great position, and again, now it's it's changed. I like to think it's like I'm so focused on what the league is looking like right now. Why don't we just go on to it for another occasion? Uh, but okay, no, I was gonna say, is there gonna be different rules here? But no, championship group specific rules. Yeah, numbers. I don't think there's gonna be much difference out of that. Okay. Teams entering this stage will start with all their stats from the league along with 50% of their points gained. Okay, there's one rule. So half of the points. But yeah. <laughs> we... League sorting rules by seeding. Okay. So our point is, for winning this cup, Europa League, you get. Hey, we're, we're in a good position to come second. And, yeah, go through that path of the Champions League. So, yeah, it is looking really interesting. But at the same time, we talk about Club Brugge, um, we No, let's not say we're so comfortable with that. It's real close at the same time. But, yeah, we just got to go. So we still want to win because you don't know what can happen. We could go on a slump, even though we're playing um, uh, yeah, pretty well. But Amok Rain, the suspension, uh, Van Le Berg, uh, he's, like he's a good rotation to come in. <laughs> if anything, like he's the more experienced player, but Amok Rain, yeah, we'll talk about some development of youth as well. Popovich or Al Hadj, we had to rest him for the last game. Uh, we are probably going to take out Rentero for this one. Al Hadj, um, sorry about that. No. Al Hadj is wanted by Real Betis. Uh, Betis, not a bad team in comparison. And Garbi, I said we're going to wait, but no, I can't wait. Look at his development. Miert is going to be in a bit of danger, but <laughs> for the best striker in the team, but could he be uh, a winger? He's or inside forward. Uh, he is left-footed, so yeah, we we got options. It's always good when you can uh, when you can have that Brolt as well becoming a regular. Well, we're trying to again fast track development. Younger guys, we're just going to say they're training really well. Uh, Ramos, we're trying to get games into. Want him to start developing a bit more because he does have good potential in him. So we just had the youth intake as well. So our youth is in a good position. But considering, yeah, we want to we want to play our best team. So I think cost of 
yeah, he does come in, even though he has fitness concerns. It was either him or Benedetti, so we'll leave him out. And even Popovich, man, we we got op- we have got options, but I th- I feel they've played the best, even though short of full fitness. Uh, nah, nah, he'd be good. He'd be good. While his condition is still quite impressive, he looks good off of that. They're all well, yeah, three of the fours on yellow, so. They're probably going to, well, there's good chance someone will be missing. <laughs> and yeah, our bench has got good versatility, I say. So I was wondering about a winger, but no, nah, uh, Garby has at least one. Yeah, let's get into it right now. Huge game. I'm sure someone will let me know, but <laughs> we, we both have a lot extended names. Give your feedback on that, because that that one, yeah, the one that starts with the K is exactly the same, I'm sure. Yeah, you'll get your feedback. And even the second word, both of them end with, okay, what's, neging. Neging, I'm probably not saying it right. I have to <laughs> focus. It, very big le- big letters. <laughs> Long words. All right. Well, what, what, what can we say? We owe them after what happened last time. Not bad. I want to go in with a bit more here. Wait. I don't want to think too deep. I don't think you can have all of these in normal team talks. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Okay. Make me proud. Hmm. Vandenberg is aggressive. I mean, aggressive is not bad. If you have your DM... Aggressive and Mia, it's aggressive on the bench. Is that aggressive or is it like in the game or is it against me that he's not starting? Who knows? But nah, I. But I've always wondered is it more in because its color feels like it's not a good thing, like it's not green. But aggressiveness when it's when it's put in the right way is good, it's not bad. But again, I've always wondered how much it's implemented in FM or on a good side or a bad side of it, how they're going to perform. But I like my players to be a bit on the aggressive side, you know, be a bit intimidating. That can, like I said, that puts it more on your side, I reckon. But it's the Battle of Brugger for the Cup, for the Croaky Cup final. It could be one of these. I wonder, yeah, I want to take our game to him and early we are. And that gives them a free kick. Ooh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. I think it's just an oppressive thing if we can play our game. If we can have that majority of possession. Or it just being in our favour somewhat. Because they have got more talent. See, yep, yeah, the Silva Lopez already got his yellow. But if it leads... Yeah, a couple... Er- I guess you sense that in our game aggressiveness, ease of tackles, let's just go, Pablo Pardow, Jean, oh, Corentin, Corentin, mate, it wasn't the worst effort, like, it went so close, I wonder how, I, I've had worse one-on-one shots, I, yeah, I've definitely seen, but the fact that could have given us a lead in a very tight game, it seemed like that was the key chance of the half, so, yeah, it's going to be one of these ones, guys. Uh, thrash arms, but I'm not. Like, <laughs> my reaction shaking my head is, should have that been a team talk that my players got a good reaction from? I don't think... Let me know what you think. But I just do the team talks, the team talks that work. But, like, should my players be reacting well to that? I think we... Out, like, I think we're putting in a good effort considering our opponents, top of the league. Okay. Play it through now. Play it through, Jean. Composed. Composed like our reaction. That's big. 27th goal of the season. Ah, he's been a good signing, hasn't he? Remember? We had a poor striker. I can't even remember that guy's name. We we just knew we needed to get a good striker in, and I struggled. I saw him, yeah, and what we've used him as sometimes, but not as much because we want him, yeah, playing up front. Um, but he can play on the wings, but equally composed. Uh, just to back up what we're saying, and yeah, you can see it. But yeah, yeah, he's got the dribbling, first touch, you can see, I mean, the game, why is his, that circled? <laughs> Again, I don't know, I don't know. He, media sees him as a striker, 
his natural position as a striker, circle the striker, like that would make sense, right? <laughs> like those little things I always question. But anyway, all of that from talking about the type of striker he is, it's one nil. And more forget the money. Forget the oh where what where are we gonna finish? Are we gonna get Europa League? Are we gonna get Champions League? Like I've said throughout this save and throughout this journeyman series, getting silverware, lifting trophies, getting those things to our name, that's a big win. That's what we want to get. When we think about from the manager's perspective, but it's Novak, Novak, Novak. Lubavert, no, I, I, I was trying to think, is it a Novak we're familiar with? I'm pretty sure there's a Lee Novak. He may have retired. Okay. Recover instantly. Recover instantly. Gonsolvis. It will be, I reckon, one of our stars to do something. To be fair, we've got stars. We've got a lot of them. Brolt. But it will be something. Oh, didn't I say... No, camera. No. I feel this one's going to count. Sometimes you can tell how the replay plays out. I feel this one counts. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just also because I didn't think he was off. Yeah. <laughs> we take it. But I think you can sense in the way it's a few little things. Yeah, now to show the line. It doesn't show that until the decision was given. I, 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 anyway, you can tell sometimes. I'm not sure exactly what it is. We're just happy. We've got the lead now. And now we, 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 De Silva Lopez. Uh, we're going to bring on Carlos Gomez. Not just because their, their names, <laughs> their names rhyme. But um, he's training well. Really, Was he 17 pace? I'm pretty sure I saw 17. Could have been another player. And Alha I want to get rid of this chance. Let's bring on Neves. I want to get rid of the chance of like getting a sending off. We just play it smart. Leave one more sub. This is huge if we win it. And that money, it's the, the money's not even going to be enough to make a profit this month. So, as I said, lifting a trophy... Winning a cup, Pablo Parda. No, 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 that's silly. He does much better than that. This is what you'll see. It might end in him scoring, so we're not complaining. And we start to get ecstatic when you get that two-goal breather. You start to feel a bit confident in the Battle of Brugge. Brolt. He's not just a playmaker. How good was that tackle? How good was that? And Pablo Pardal knows how to find the goals. And I wonder if his value starts, or we do have the asking price or a promise of 10 million. Uh, again, I, I still don't see a team coming from that, just judging off his current value. So we're pretty safe with him at, at this point in time. And we're very comfortable now. It's interesting the change you make, or I start to look at who we've got on the bench. We start to look here, Gonsolvi's. No, it's it's an interesting one. De Costa is very, I almost think we don't have a sub that, we've got a few younger guys there. Popovich, a bit of experience. I'm like, play it out, play it out. See what happens with this highlight. Pirani, Zambia. Isn't that a country? No, that's Zambia. Okay. Really intriguing what happens here. My gosh. Like, was that the highlight? Far out. <laughs> we were waiting for an interception or something. Well, in the last minutes now, when players are starting to feel a bit more... Why didn't I think that just before? Okay, <laughs> yeah, Corrington, like we were touching on, we don't tend to do that too often because you like him up top. Gar Mio, it's aggressive. Even though I said it's good, well, I like aggressiveness. It comes with a sad face. So that's why I was touching on FM. Yeah, it's seen as a bad kind of body language. But anyway. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going we're gonna to do it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another cup. So this at least says we've got something. We've got something for our time here. There may be more coming, but I wonder if it impacts our uh, reputation or not. But this is huge. We've got a cup at this club and another one in the cabinet. They're starting to pile up a little bit. Uh, yep, the Kruki Cup and the fans, they celebrate. I just want to say, I think this is pretty substantial. It's more on the lines of the FA Cup, I think. In compar if, if we're talking about England, like, this is always the comparison. Uh, more, uh, it's like the main domestic cup. Well, it, it, uh, there's, only, there's only been one cup we've been in for the season. So I like to think it's yeah, uh, pretty, uh, pretty big that it gets a European qualification as well uh, into the Europa League. It's on par with finishing third, so um, <laughs> I think. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Great performance. And against our rivals. No, I, want, I don't want to cause a shock. I, yeah. Remember this moment. <laughs> Mia still mad on the bench. Oh, come on. Still aggressive. But I, I'm intrigued how in the tactics it shows aggressive. When we're making changes, it was red. And in the team talk, aggressive is shown as orange. Which is, you know, it's not as mad. That's what I talk about, how to rate it. Oh, we get Achievement Unlock Cup Glory, so we're happy with that uh, on Steam. Pablo Pardal. We, yeah, I was important after he got the equalizer. Our star, our star, PP. I'm not sure that's the best nickname for him, but uh, anyway, he scored a brace to help us win. So, all right, we're going to take a look at these 11 messages. Yeah, this man, I've seen him so often, like, get backs it up he's had 12 player of the matches you can't see it in the stats but sort by rating there we go you can see some pretty Im impressive <laughs> that many above eight so my my point is he's potential he's two star current ability though so good determination didn't i mention there was a, there was another player i felt we signed up that was like him I'm pretty sure it wasn't him because I felt it was more in a recent intake. They had great determination, natural fitness. See the result of it. And yeah. Oh, he's troubled. Oh, we're, I love the fact of the other manager. We, he feels troubled. And we get the 81, just over 81K. Wow. The, te the witness the team lift the trophy, the croquet cup for the first time since 1985. And in the save, yeah, now we're 2027. 20, so... Yeah, that's really good. But, hmm, interesting. There was a minimum expectation to get to the quarter final, but they won't be judging. I thought, I feel in FM, if they won't be judging us in the competition, the minimum expectation should be, yeah, the minimum. <laughs> uh, it should be third round or whatever the first round we play in. But yeah, of course, there's always going to be a bonus, 45k. So th there's a, there's a portion that doesn't go all into the club. The, almost majority, well, just over half of that win, uh, the final prize money goes into the club. So that's what I mean. That's not going to fix the monthly. Oh, overall balance. We we got something. Okay, yeah, we got a bit more back. The gate receipts. Yeah, that's probably yeah where we get more of that TV revenue because uh, we were in the red. And we're probably going to j just lose for the month. But anyway, I mean, we got our next next game. Yeah, Club Brugger again uh, in the league. We still call this the league, the championship group. Uh, yeah, not too bad. But we're going to play... Ooh, I'm going to play the next next three or four games. It, it depends. Yeah, it depends where we're sitting. Uh, maybe we finish up final two at home. And yeah, see how that's uh, finishing for us to finish off this season. Um, so we can round it up in one more episode, you know. So, ooh, yes. Now we're three. Yes, and we're still studying. That should be 55. That win boosted our rep. Now three star. So that's big. Wait, was it this team? I'm pretty sure that we joined and the players weren't, like, they feel I didn't have the experience for this job. Now I'm on point. I've got the reputation of this club. 
Decent, decent. Let me know what you guys think. You probably say, yeah, we get in Champions League. We're definitely playing next season. But it's the question. Like, it's funny how the Asian Champions League, we didn't get into the Asian Champions League proper. proper. We got knocked out in a playoff and... Yeah, then we dipped because we weren't going to play in the competition proper. So, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. So that that is the note out of this championship group. It says teams start with all their league records along with 50% of points from the main league stage. Okay. Yeah, I'm still processing that. Who has how much points we have and, yeah, other teams' points and why it's not the same difference. But anyway, like we said, it's, it's a we get good experience of this. Click on our tactic there for whatever reason, just to show you a meter prediction 14th. Like, and I think we're even going to go up at least another half a star. I, yeah, as a minimum, we complete the Continental Pro, but whatever we do from this season, I'd love to get into the Champions League. As I said, finish at least second. We get that. We'll be pushing close to a four-star rep. We have an amazing group of youngsters. We have an amazing group of youngsters. So we're definitely at least playing last season, the next season, but will it be our last season? It all depends. Uh, because I know, realistically, we're not going to be able to win the Champions League. Like, we're probably not going to get it. We, As much as we get excited about our talents, we think realistically as well. But I want to see how we do. Oh, yeah, we're going to do our very best, no doubt. No doubt. And, I mean, we set ourselves up to get some talents too. Yeah, and have a progression over the next year. I, I think I think we I'm gonna put myself on the line here. I reckon we can win those playoffs and get into the proper champions league, get into it you know, the group the group stages. Yeah, put myself on the line there, because with a performance like that and I think at an absolute minimum get into the Europa League. If yeah, we get knocked out and we fall down to Europa League, that's that's massive in itself. That's really big. And it'll be good financially as well. But what I talk about the manager, I really think we could get a better job within maybe in the next couple of seasons, uh, maybe like a four star. Because again, when we joined this team, we didn't have the experience. We were below. I think we were like that two and a half experience. So think if we get to three and a half star, maybe we can get a four star team. And that's when we start to think about some of the, at least a mid-table team in Premier League level. And when I say Premier League, I mean like Serie A, La Liga, you know, Bundesliga, covering the top leagues, even in France as well. So that's that's the level we're getting to. Our next job should be there. So let me know what you're thinking on how we're doing and uh, for us to get another trophy. And I, I do like to show it like that, don't I? Um, for our history, isn't it? Job history, is that where, yeah, the competition win. Yeah, we got that to our name now. So at yeah, at Qingdao, remember with them, I think we, we did very well, but we didn't yeah, we didn't get credit to the competition win, kind of like Kurz and Aston, but we got them a promotion, which I think is on a similar level. So like I said, uh really good for us to get that a cup win. We it felt like yeah, we haven't had a cup win since Warren Point Town. Like Kurz and Ashton and Warren Point Town. I don't want to say it feels like a different save, but it feels like a substantial time ago. So if you guys have watched it through since then, I really hope you have enjoyed uh, have enjoyed the journey. And there's still a lot more to go. Um, I've enjoyed how the save itself has gone this year. It's been it's been real good at these four different teams. So, and it would be fitting the way we've been. First two seasons we've been at clubs for two. Uh, for, well, no, Kurz and Aston shows like that, but no, we've kind of pro, or maybe we see it as a progression. You can see it either way. Maybe Kurz in for one season, Warren Point Town, two seasons, Ching Dao, that was, was that two? Yeah, and then we, we moved on because we didn't finish there. So, or it's just like either two or three. So, depends how we go next season uh, with Circle Brugger. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now and maybe just round it up on the profile. See it again. We are a three-star rep, 55%, and we're at least at a minimum going to go up another five when we complete the Continental Pro. So we're going to be a 60%, and I wonder if that will be three and a half. It should be three. Yeah, it's a three and a half once we finish the season. But then also for our league finish and maybe getting in Champions League. Okay, I can talk a lot when I get excited. But don't bl you don't blame me, do we? Um, yeah, we're, we're really progressing in this. So that's it for now in this episode. Leave a thumbs up for more. Get a comment in and I'll see you guys next time.